welcome back to my channel it's debbie in the building if you are new to my channel you're highly welcome if you're my old returning subscriber you're highly welcome thank you all for your support thank you for always coming by please if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also turn the notification bell that is beside the subscribe button today's video we'll be making cookies guys homemade cookies guys so i want to carry you guys along to show you i'll just be making these cookies with just two ingredients i'm not i will not be mentioning the flour which is the major ingredient i'll just add two ingredients so if you want to see what the cookies looks like and how it turns out keep watching and make sure you watch to the end okay I know you guys are doing great, you guys are wonderful, you guys are enjoying the season. So this season period, you can make this for your family, especially if you have kids. Trust me guys, your kids will love it. They will love it. These cookies are so yummy. Definitely they will love it. So guys, keep watching and see what the cookies looks like. Let's get into the... These are the ingredients I'll be using for these cookies. This is the brand of flour I'll be using. It's 1 kg with sugar and butter. So flour is the major ingredient. So I will not be counting it. So I'm basically using two ingredients which is butter and sugar I added the flour half of the flour I showed you I did not add all of them just half butter and added my sugar you can add sugar to your taste you know how you like your sugar some people like much sugar why others don't just add to your taste for me I don't really like sugar that much so I'll not be adding much then you start mixing everything together. You keep mixing. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, 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 mix. Mind you, I've already washed my hands. Make sure you wash your hands before mixing. So you keep mixing. Now, I'll be adding a little water. I used my hand to measure the quantity of water I'll be adding. I used two hands full of water to keep mixing. I keep mixing to make sure the water incorporates well and the dough is properly formed as you can see the dough is forming gradually mixing it mix 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 now i'll be adding another half of water just like the dough is not still forming, has not still formed the way I wanted it. So I added another handful of water. Mind you, you don't have to add how much water. And the quantity of water depends on the flow, the quantity of flow you are using, and also the quantity of Water you use depends on the quantity of flour as well because you don't need too much water in this baking and you don't need much butter or you need a good amount of butter keep mixing as you can see the dough is forming 
as you can see the dough has formed just the way I wanted it so I brought out my chopping board I'll be using my parchment paper I'll be placing it on the chopping board if you don't have the parchment paper you can as well use your chopping board all you need to sprinkle a little amount of flour on the chopping board so that the dough will not stick on your chopping board but i have a um, parchment paper so i'll be using it because i don't want to soil the chopping board more so it will be easier for me to wash so i placed the dough on the parchment paper sprinkled a, a little sugar this process is optional you mustn't put sugar in case if you don't like sugar that much i didn't really put much sugar in my dough so that's why I decided to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on the parchment paper. Here you can knead your dough if you want a smoother result. I didn't really need my dough that much because I was hurrying up to finish everything I'm doing before my baby wakes up so I didn't really need it and I was not really bothered about it because it's just the cookies I'll be eating with my hobby so there is no need beautifying it that much so if you want your own to be to be smooth all you need to at this stage is to knead it properly till you get a final dough so that is all all it takes is just to knead 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 keep kneading it till you get a final dough you know so all i did by now went ahead and shaped it the way i want this stage is Shaping it this way is usually easier for me, you know. For anyone doing it, you can shape it anyhow you want. If you want it round, you make it round. If you want it this way, you make it. If you want it four corner, you make it anyhow you want to shape yours. You can shape it anyhow you want. Then I went ahead and used my plastic foil. I don't know if, it, if it's what this thing is called. Lylon. <laughs> you just use nylon or plastic foil <laughs> to wrap it up and then set it aside for 20 minutes. You can put it in your refrigerator or just keep it anywhere. This is after 10 minutes. I didn't really wait for mine to last for 20 minutes because I was hurrying up as I said earlier. So for you, you, you can wait for it to last for 20 minutes. Then cut it this way to your desired size and shape the way you want it. So for me, I'm cutting it. To my desired shape and size as you can see so this is all for this stage I have been preheating my oven for five minutes now so all I'll do is to place it on my oven tray and then put it in the oven if you don't have a parchment paper you can as well grease it your oven pan with butter or any vegetable oil place it on it and put it in your oven that is all so I'll be placing it in my oven now this is the final look of the cookies mind you I baked it for 20 minutes 
10 minutes for each side I brought it out flipped it then baked it for another 10 minutes that's in total 20 minutes so this is it it's crunchy thick and yummy and I like my cookies brown like this if you don't like your brown like this you can as well bake it the way you want it you know but make sure it cooks very well but I love mine this way because it's crunchy this way so that is it with nothing less than creators you can achieve this it's very easy simple to make you know and moms you can make it for your kids especially if you have kids that are still in primary school or secondary school they can use it as their snack you know make it pack it up for them as snacks so and that is it if you want the final look, you need very well and take your time and shape it. So guys, this is what the cookies looks like. So I'll be testing it and be telling you what the cookie tastes like. <laughs> Woo, look at it. You can make your own not to be this brown, you know. But I love my own this way. Okay. Mmm, yummy. See. I don't know if you guys can see the inside. See. See. Mmm. 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 Mm. It tastes like shortbread. Shortbread biscuit. That's what it tastes like. So yummy. So try it, guys. Try it. Hmm? Try it. And thank me later. You will definitely love it. That is all for this video, guys. Bye. See you all in my next video. <laughs>